Hello there guys, welcome back to a short online tutorial. Today we're based in Adobe Illustrator and your good friend Jack from Blue Sky Graphics back again to show you some really cool stuff. What I'd like to do today guys is show you this really simple but clean looking logo design that you can use across many forms of graphic design, ranging from logo designs, ranging from patterns, ranging from backgrounds of branding. And like I say, it's really simple, but when we have the finished, final finished product, you'll be really impressed of how modern and how fresh and how in innovative it, will, it looks. Now, as you can see, what I've done is I've applied this to a black background to my artboard. It doesn't mean it always looks good in the black background, but I feel it gives us a real cool looking modern feel with on a, on a black uh, background. So what we're going to do is start off with the ellipse tool here. And I'm going to press shift and option, option for a Mac user or alt for a window user, just so I'm resizing from the center point uh, of the shape there and pressing shift also at the same time to make sure that it's proportionate. Just going to make sure it's aligned perfectly to the artboard horizontally and vertical center using my alignment tools. I'm just going to swap the fill and the stroke around here, just using our little arrow in between those. And let's just change the color to white just so that I can see what I'm doing like so. Okay, to have this uh, still selected, and what I would like to do now is copy and paste in front. To copy for Mac users is Command C and Window users Control C, and to paste in front it's Command F for Mac users or Control F for Window users. And with the one that I just copied and pasted in front, I'm going to use the left hand side anchor point here, and press Shift as well at the same time, and just resize it to a point about there, like so. And then with that still selected, now what I'm going to do is duplicate this to the other side. The keyboard shortcut for Mac users is Option, and for Window users is Alt. But also at the same time, I'm going to press Shift just to keep it nice and straight in line. I'm going to take it to a point and hit the other side of that shape. And now we have the basis of our logo idea. I'm going to select everything, and using my Shape Builder tool situated here, I'm going to come through and build this shape here, like so. And I'm going to build this one here also as well. And now what I'd like to do is start coloring my logo idea. And what I'm going to do is use gradients. So I'm just going to set the top one there. And let's say we come through and apply a nice gradient like so. Now, I quite like this blue, uh, light blue to dark blue gradient, but I might even sort of increase the actual dark blue here. So just double click on your um, color stop. And I'm just going to bring down that option there just to sort of make it a real sort of dark looking gradient. And with our gradient tool, keyboard shortcut is just the letter G. I'm going to come through here and start from the bottom and take it to a point like so. Okay, now that's our gradient build for the uh, top shape. We're going to now apply the same gradient to the bottom. So just use your selection tool. Set the bottom shape. And what I like to do is use the eyedropper tool. Keyboard shortcut is just the letter I. And I'm going to pick up that gradient from the top shape. And what I'm now going to do is manipulate uh, the angle of the gradient. So yet again, I need to use the uh, gradient tool. Keyboard shortcut G. And I'm going to start from this point and drag it down there like so. And with my selection tool now, I'm just going to select everything and just remove the stroke come up to our stroke options and use the option of none there. And you can see a really cool looking logo idea that you can use and implement within to your designs. If you're interested in finding out more about the school, the courses that we offer, please take a look at our website, guys, at bluesguardgraphics.co.uk. Thank you very much. Take care and I'll see you next time.